On today's episode, we're going to do some color grading using Topaz Studio 2's color theme filter. It's simple, it's easy. Let me show you how to do it. Let's get started. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I really enjoy color grading images and a couple videos back I did one on color grading images in Photoshop using the gradient map. But then I started thinking, wait a minute, there's a color theme filter inside of Topaz Studio 2 and I bet you it would be really easy to color grade with. And so today I'm going to really explore that color theme filter. I think it's a little easier to use than the uh, gradient map in Photoshop. However, I love the gradient map in Photoshop and you can do so much with the gradient map in Photoshop. It's a little more elaborate, but the color theme filter, if you want to get a color grading job done simply and easily, the Topaz Studio 2 color theme filter may be the way for you to go. So let me go ahead and show you how easy it is to really use. I'll be showing you three different examples today. I have this image, I have this one, and I have this one. This is one I used on my previous uh, gradient map video and I wanted to see how well it would adapt to the color theme filter. But we're gonna start out with this one here. Now I've already went ahead and duplicated my background layer and I'm just calling this Topaz Color Theme Color Grade. I'm using Topaz Studio 2 obviously as a plugin out of Photoshop. So I'm gonna come up here to Filter and come to Topaz Studio 2. We'll get it launched and we'll get started here. But this is a really cool filter here, and I think it's one that's really overlooked. And I, I've overlooked it for the longest time, to be honest with you. But let's click on Add Filter, and let's come into the Creative section here, and you'll find it right here, Color Theme. Now, what Color Theme does is it breaks down your image into the five most dominant or the strongest colors of the image. So here's the original Color Theme here, and these are the most dominant colors. Now underneath it, it has another set of color swatches and this is called new color theme. So you can take these original dominant colors and change them into any color that you want. And you also have the hex decimal codes and you can actually, if you know a color's hex decimal code, you can select it and type it right into here if you want to. So that's kind of cool. And then you have this uh, color palette here where you can mix your colors around any way you want and remap your colors out, just like gradient map in Photoshop, only you don't have to mess with blend modes or anything. So this, it makes it really simple. And you do have blend modes as well if you want to play with your blend modes. So that's kind of nice. And also you have a lightness slider so you can lighten any of these, these colors up or you can darken the tones of the colors down. You can adjust details, which is a nice added feature. And if you're getting some artifacts because you're really pushing your colors, colors a little too hard, you can suppress those artifacts with this slider. So it has a lot of great tools built right into it. But we're going to start out up here in this section. Before we alter colors, I want to show you something that's really kind of neat. Any one of these dominant colors here, okay? You notice you have this lightness slider here. So you could kind of use this to kind of adjust the luminosity without changing colors. For instance, right now I'm on this color right here, these darker brown tones. If I want to lighten them up, I can move this slider to the right and lighten those tones up, or I can darken them down by moving it to the left. Isn't that cool? And you always have a reset here to reset your color theme. But again, we could find these other colors here, like say this color right here. And if I want to darken that color down a little bit, I can just come here, look, and darken it down. So that's kind of nice if uh, you just want to make some luminosity type adjustments, kind of luminosity masking type stuff. Now you can only use these colors, but these are the most dominant colors. So that's a really cool little added feature. And I just wanted to point that out. But now let's go ahead and play with some color grading here. And don't forget, you also have these other adjustments down here as well. So let's start out here. Let's go with these, with this first color right here. I'm gonna click on this color and I wanna maybe warm this, these colors up down here a little bit. So all I'm gonna do, I see I have this little hand tool here, but usually what I do is I just click. So I'm gonna click in, in this area here in these warmer tones like this. And okay, I'm gonna go up and add some more saturation. You add more saturation if you click up higher, you'll add less if you go down. And again, if you want these, these tones not to be browns, you could come over and make them like bluish tones. Isn't that cool? 
less color down here, less saturation, I should say, and more saturation up to the top. You want to make them pink, you can make them pink. So you can do whatever you want. And that actually kind of looks kind of cool. But I'm going to go with some warmer color, I think. Maybe, maybe that color. I really like that. Now, if you left click and hold down on your mouse, you can see the before and the after. So I really like it. The image already was nice and nostalgic looking, but I just wanted to change up the color grading a little bit. And usually what I like to do is start at the left and then click on my next color and just play with it. And you can always change it back if you don't like it. So let's go on this color. Let's click it. And I think it's going to be up in here somewhere, but let me go ahead and warm these tones up a little bit. Okay, see that? If I want to saturate them more, I can click up higher, which I kind of like that. I think I'll saturate them a little bit more. Maybe right, maybe right around there. Now I can left click with my mouse, hold down, and there's a before and there's the after. Before and after. So I like it. It's going in the right direction. Now, this color up in here, I think it's going to be represented right here. So I think I need to warm that up too. So I'm going to come here and let's go ahead and warm that color up. Now, that may be too much, but it's close. If I want it to be more on the oranger side of things, I can move it to the left here. And let me move it a little bit more into yellows. And if I want to darken that up a little bit up in there, I can take this lightness and slide back a little bit to the left. All right, if I didn't want it quite, quite as much highlights up in there, but I think right around there. Now, here's a left click again before and after. I like it. And don't forget, you always have this opacity slider here. You can take it and move it back. But I gener generally will leave it up full because I'm using this as a plugin in Photoshop. So I use my layer adjustment opacity in Photoshop if I need to pull it back. But I like it. But now let's take a look at these colors over here in the barn. So let's click here. What if I want to, uh, let's maybe cool those a little bit. Oh, that's too much, but not a problem. Just keep moving down. Hey, you don't have to, you don't have to hit it right the first time, but maybe right around here. Okay. I kind of like that. Maybe a little less. And what if I want to just darken those tones a little bit? Yeah, I think I like that. And getting a little bit of blue in the dog, which I kind of like that. But if I wanted less saturation, I can pull it, pull it down a little bit more, maybe somewhere around in there. And then you can always hit this undo if you want to go back a step and then redo. You know, that's how you can reset something if you mess the color up. Say if I went, oh my gosh, pink, what was the original color? And voila, you are back. Now the light, this lightest uh, tone here, let's check this out. Uh, let's, let's add a little bit of blue to it as well. Now that's too much, so I'm just gonna move down. Just like that, just a slight hint. Now here is the before and here's the after, and it's just that simple. And at this point, let's say we're done. So we can go ahead and click accept. That'll send us back into Photoshop. And here's the before and here's the after. If I felt like I overdid the color grading, I can just take the opacity and pull it back somewhat. You know, so you have all this adjustment here in Photoshop as well. And you can also change blend modes if you want. But now let's move on to the next image. I thought this image, this is just a stock image, and I thought it would work really well with a color grade. And now that we know how to color grade using color theme and topaz, let's get into it right away. I've already duplicated the background layer. We'll go ahead and launch it and we'll jump right into it. Let's go ahead and click Add Filter, come to the Creative Section Color Theme. Here's our five dominant colors. I think I'll start with these lighter background colors. I think I'll warm those up. And so let me start on this side this time to, with the highest highlight here. And let me just come into the warmer tones. That may be too much saturation, so I'm just going to pull it down, maybe a little more, just a hint of that. Here's the before and here's the after. See, just a hint of that warm tone. Now I'm going to come into this color. It's more of a gray, but let's tint it with a little bit of a uh, warmer tone. Oh, yeah, look, I think I hit it on the first try. Here's the before and here's the after. If I wanted to go a little more into the reds, like that. Yeah, I think I like that even better. If I wanted more saturation, I could move it up, less saturation, move it down. I'm just trying to find that right balancing point, which I think is right there. Here's the before and here's the after, but just that easy. And don't forget, you can adjust the lightness here if you want to, but I think it looks good. And uh, let's see. 
Let me go to the lavenders here. Let me click on this color right here. And like I said, if you know the hexadecimal code of a color, you can type it right in here. So let me uh, go ahead and click right around here. See how that altered? Isn't that cool? That's extra saturation, but let's take it down a little bit. You know, I could take it more into pinks if I want to. Isn't that cool? So you can do whatever you want here. And it's just simple, a simple matter of just clicking around and finding that right color and the right amount of saturation. Remember, more saturation when you move up, less saturation when you move down. You can alter the hues as you move right and you move left. So let's see, here's the before and here's the after, before and after. And I like it. And do I want to do anything else to it? Uh, let's see. Let's try these greens here. Let me warm these greens up a little bit. Yeah, check that out. Just a little bit of warmth in the green, but maybe I want to take it more to the green, but just there. Let's see. Here's a before and here's the after. Yeah, isn't that nice? I think that looks good. And these greens, I think, look okay, so I'm not going to touch them. But here again, here's the overall before and here's the after. Well, that was quick and easy. Job done. Let's click accept. That sends us back into Photoshop. Here is the before and here is the after. Just a nice, slight, simple color grade. Now, here's our last image. This is one that I used in my last tutorial on color grading with gradient maps. So I just wanted to see how well we could do with this one in uh, Topaz Studio 2 with color theme. So I've already duplicated the background there. Let's go ahead and launch Studio 2. Let's go ahead and add the filter, creative section, uh, color theme. And here are our dominant colors. And I forgot to show you this. I told you how you can hit the undo and the redo when you want to change things back and forth. But also if you change a color, like say if I change this color to some something I don't want, I can always come back up here to the original color theme, double click to send it back to the original color. So that's another way that you can get back. So if you get something really off kilter here, just double click here and you'll set it back. And you also have the main reset to reset everything back if you want to. I really like this image. I just like her look and gesture here. It's, it's really beautiful. But let's see if we can make it even more beautiful, more elegant. So I'm going to go with this color right here. I'm going to start with this highlight color back here because it's, it's neutral. But let's add a little bit of a pink cast into it. Well, that's a lot of pink cast, Dave. <laughs> Let's add just a little bit of pink cast. That's still too much. I like some pink in this book as well, but that is too saturated, but not a problem. Let's just keep pulling it down. Let's just add a subtle pink pinkness to it right there. So here's the before and here is the after. Again, before and after. And maybe I'll just cut it back a little bit more. Right there. Here's a before and here's an after. See that? Just a subtle, subtle pink. And how about a little bit of blue in these darker tones here? So let's come over into... Mm, let me try this. Let me try this. Yeah. See, it's adding some blue into these headphones here. I don't want to go too crazy there, but I just want to add a little bit of blue because it's going to affect this area back in here as well. But maybe just a little bit. Let's see. Here's the before and here's the after. Before and after. Maybe a little less. And maybe I'll darken that a little bit. Let's take the lightness and move it a little bit to the left. Yeah, and just darken that up a little bit. Something like that. Here's the before and here's the after. A simple little color grade, but beautiful in my opinion. You need to give this a try. Hey, leave comments and questions and let me know what you think of this color theme filter. I think you need to give it a try and let me know what kind of results you're getting. I'd really love to hear. Let's go ahead and click accept and we'll send this right back into Photoshop. Now, once it's in Photoshop, I'm just going to go ahead and add a layer mask to it because on her eyes, if I didn't want that effect on the eyes, let's see here. Here's a before and here's an after. If I want to bring that eye color back, I think I'll just uh, take it off, that color grading off the eye. So I'm just going to get my brush with 100% opacity, black paint, and just paint that off the eyes. And just bring that original eye color back. But there you go. There's color grading using the color theme filter. Here's before, and here's after. So it does a beautiful job, and it's fast. 
the color theme filter in Topaz Studio 2, another way of color grading images. And it's simple, quick, and it's easy. Give it a try. Hey, if you enjoyed this tutorial today, give it a like, share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click the bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.